let's check with meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, it looks like tomorrow will be another warm day. Yes, indeed. We're looking at southerly flow and clear skies, which will add up to about a 30 degree jump once more, maybe more. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. And right now we have clear skies, although there's a little bit of thin cloud cover moving off into the hills of West Virginia. We are basically left with clear conditions and virtually no radar echoes. When we take a look at the Highmark West Virginia sky cam, 42 degrees, 51 percent relative humidity. The winds are calm and the pressure 30.26 inches and steady. When we look at our current temperatures, well, 44 down in Charleston, maybe one of the warmer reports. Beckley at 45. We're looking at 42 in Parkersburg, 40 in Columbus, and Athens is already down to 35, and they're going to slip well below freezing. Calm conditions, as you can see, throughout the region. That also lends to faster drops in temperature. We're about 3 to 7 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. So looking for any radar echoes, there's nothing in the immediate vicinity until you get down to Tennessee and down into the Carolinas. Very scattered at this point. That came off the Gulf Coast. Now the high pressure has generally moved off to the east and the rotation, the clockwise rotation around that high is bringing in that southerly flow. That's what popped our temperatures today and will continue tomorrow as well, waiting for the next system to approach from the west. So future cast suggests we'll have clear skies tonight, maybe some thin clouds that'll arrive in the uh, morning tomorrow. But for the most part, we won't see the cloud cover until we get to after sunset. And once we're into uh, the overnight, it's it certainly looks like those clouds will build and very obviously a line of showers will work its way across Ohio until it looks like it'll arrive in the afternoon. Forecast for tonight down to about 33. That's what the model suggests, mostly clear in some of the protected sheltered valleys. And if we continue to have clear skies and still conditions, it'll drop maybe a little farther than that, but it's going to be pretty close. Tomorrow, 69 for the high temperature. If we uh, get some favorable southerly flow, we may pop into the 70 degree range for a couple of areas, but basically it'll be sunny and warm. The second and last warm day uh, compared to Friday, which will be wet, 94% chance of that uh, precipitation precipitation be pretty hard to avoid that front as it comes through. We'll drop down to 36 that night and then it certainly looks like our high temperatures will be limited into the 50s as we go through the weekend with the overnights again below freezing a couple of nights and then we'll moderate as we start the work week but the next weather system will be arriving and completely different weather pattern so it looks like at least two days of very likely to see rain next week.